What is going on everybody? It is the Bot1654 here and today I'm going to give you a quick, easy, simple guide to turn on power in the brand new Zombies uh, Firebase uh, Z. Uh, as you can see here, we unlock that very first door there, which will lead us right up to um, to where the teleporter is and that's going to be labeled there. And we're going to go th right through that teleporter. Um, really quick guys, before we get started on this video, make sure you do hit that like button, that bell notification, and that subscribe button so you know when we go live and we do upload here on the channel. Without further ado, let's unlock power here and I'll show you guys exactly how to do it. This guy stops talking over me. So basically what actually they're going to make us do this time is each one of these gates here is actually a thousand points. Now you'll obviously see the little arrow right there, um, which indicates power. You have to unlock all three of these, which are all 1000 points. And basically what I broke this down to and I was able to see is that each one is basically in order to fully get to the generators and to make them come online. And then when you start to collect the souls, you're going to need about 2,800 points to 2,900 points just to get, just to fully be able to activate each gen. And I'll be able to showcase that to you as well too. Alrighty, so we had enough points here. So we end up getting the 1,000. So then uh, we're going to be, now it's going to say Aether Reactor. Um, I skipped that there. That one, obviously I couldn't go through until the power goes on. So we're going to run um, basically right over to this first one here because the other one's a little bit farther away and that's going to be in the other one so right there it's going to be that huge arrow right there that's going to be the second door these uh second doors right there um are actually going to be about 1200 points actually about 1250 is going to be that that door there so that's why i have to rack up a little bit more points here okay so i end up getting the 1250 points there following the arrows and i go straight to this reactor here and now the reactor is going to cost you 500 points as well so once you open that so i was saying about 28 to 2900 that you're going to get those are going to be the generators that you're going to need to protect so you need to protect this first one over here now in order to charge them up you actually need souls from the actual zombies so as you can see there that's blinking red and I'm about to run over there right now once I reload. And they're just beating the hell out of this one. So I'm going to be collecting the souls here. There's somebody on the other side right there. So the round ended. And as you can see here in the left right underneath the minimap there, you're going to see the actual charge and the amount of damage. I, that's why I'd recommend doing this at a much, much earlier round. Like I'm trying to do this around round four or five, even three, if you possibly can and rack up those points there. But in order for these generators to actually power up and all three of them, you're gonna have to actually end up getting souls from the zombies. And you can get them kind of far away, like I got them there, but that's actually how you're gonna be able to um, rejuvenate these and turn each one of these on. Alrighty, so we got the last one there. Once it does upload, it gives off a huge blast and it kills all the zombies around. We got the first one down there. Let's move on over to the second one there. Okay, so I moved on here to the second one, paid the 1,000 there. Ran right over to where it has that uh, second symbol there. You're just going to run right up the stairs here with another pur giant purple arrow there. 1,250 points. And then we're going to run right into here. And, it's be and the generator is going to be right down there. So I only have about 470. That's why I was saying you need about almost uh, about 2,900, 3,000. So I had to kill a zombie really quick and then reactivate it. Uh, here I go over here spend the 500 and now the power is on they immediately start running upstairs So I immediately try to sh shoot and kill as many as I can the round actually ends up ending here and every single generator There's gonna be three um, of these basically reactors or Generators where you're gonna have to try to protect at least two out of the three So I I'm guessing that they did that for if you're trying to play solo a good object that you can do is put c4 near them so you can if you have a, a bunch of them there, like I did, I just basically double tapped that C4 while I was getting damaged and ended up killing a few of them when they were right around it. So that's just an easy way if you're doing this solo uh, that I did that actually ended up helping and working out for me there. So we ended up getting it here. That's the second one. Does that huge blast there. So and there's different uh, centers there. That's two out of three there. So now let's move on over to uh, the third one. Okay, so I, I got about 3,000 points there. Got that first gate open. This is the final one. And um, it's actually going to be right up these stairs here. So when you first go in, it's the first set of stairs. Pay for this door here, which is another of the 1250. And they go right down into here and activate the very last one, which is 500 there. So you're able to put on power within the first couple of rounds. And this is the first time I did it, so I wasn't really sure exactly where it was everything was, but um, this is actually a relatively easier way to end up finding it here. So this one's probably the easiest one because you can stand directly next to both and have a clear view of both of them. The other two sometimes are around a corner in a completely different room. Okay, and we actually end up getting the very last one here, and you'll actually hear him 
announce it as well too and it says basically all of them have been turned on so it says right there basically facilities is operating at full power there so that's basically how you're going to be able to um, unlock power and that's basically the easiest way that you're going to be able to do it there you're going to need about 3,000 points on every single uh, door that you're going to open and it's a three-step process you have to basically do the same thing three times there if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you do hit that like button that subscribe button if you need any help down below let me know in the comments there for you okay thank you very much for watching and i'll see you on the next one take care